But of course, tell me where you at, your motivation guys back, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, man, I'm so excited. You know, if you're like the majority of Fortnite players in 2022, there's a good chance that your main goal is to reach the professional level, right? But you know, many of you guys out there already have the raw skill to make this happen. It's just, there's just some outlying factors that you likely haven't considered that are preventing you guys from doing so. And so in today's video, man, your motivation guy is here to help you out. We're gonna be going over 10 reasons why you haven't gone pro just yet. But uh, before we get started with this video, it's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. What is it, y'all? Help me out. It's that bunch of crunch. Woo! Yo, let's get this going. All right, so to start out today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about mentality. I talk about this all the time, man. In order to go pro in any game, man, you need the right mentality. Everyone say mentality, that's it. You know, this is a huge roadblock in the Fortnite community, especially considering the fact that player base tends to be a bit younger. Many of you guys out there already have what it takes to go pro, but you tell yourself otherwise. You don't believe in yourself. And, and if you hold the belief that you aren't good enough and things are not gonna work out, you just simply are not gonna come out on top. Like you need to be confident in your abilities as a player. You gotta to know deep down man that your goals are going to become a reality and this means you need to be entering tournaments with confidence fighting players without doubting yourself and overall just staying positive you know we promise you guys that the sooner you start to believe that you can go pro hey the quicker you probably will now that we've covered the importance of positive mentality we want to go over something that ties right into that patience you know, many players that wish to go pro want it to happen overnight. And although that would be really nice, reaching the top level of anything requires tons of grinding, man, and the right opportunity to make it happen. The pro scene in Fortnite is constantly changing, and we guarantee that a majority of the players on top right now were not always in this position. Like, if you were to take a look at the FNCS leaderboards this season, a majority of the players you see were not even recognizable one or two years ago. These players have been grinding since the beginning of the game and are now finally seeing some spotlight. You know, anybody watching this video could very well feel this position in one or two years you know from now and you just have to be patient and just ready for your moment all right guys so fitting right in with our first two reasons today is a lack of accountability this is a direct result of poor mentality and it's something that needs to be fixed if you guys want to reach the top level you know for a majority of time when players who lack accountability end up dying in one of their games they'll just immediately look for an outlying factor to pin the blame on like anything from in-game lag glitches or the opposing players play style will be used as a scapegoat to prevent themselves from feeling like they've actually made a mistake like if you hold the belief that you're never doing anything wrong i mean you're you're just not gonna be able to improve, period. Okay, the main source of improvement in Fortnite is learning from your mistakes, guys. So if you're unable to admit when you've done something wrong, I mean, how are you ever gonna improve? All right, now that we've gotten all the mental aspects out of the way, let's hop into your actual skills as a player, shall we? You know, one of the main things that separates a pro from the average player is their training regimen. Like pros are gonna do their best not to waste any time when playing the game. Everything they put their time into is going to directly lead to improving their skills. These players are gonna start with a solid warm-up routine followed by drills or fights against players of their same skill level just to help them improve their abilities as a player. And once they've got the warm-up phase out of the way, I mean, they're not gonna waste time by messing around in pointless creative maps or public matches they're gonna hop right into arena and scrims where they can actually improve their skills we promise you guys that if you guys use your time wisely you're not gonna have to spend 10 hours each day playing a game to go pro like a lot of the players tend to believe you know, similar to a proper training routine, you need to be incorporating some form of aim training in your daily mix as well. You know, many players will avoid training their aim thinking that, you know, playing the game alone is enough to improve it. While this is partially true, guys, taking just 15 or even 20 minutes to get some strict aim practice is gonna improve your game, like, huge, I'm telling you. This can be done through a number of different ways. Like, for you controller players out there, you won't have as many options, but in-game creative aim trainers like Raiders 464's map, or, or just really any for that matter, will be enough to make some solid improvement. Keyboard and mouse players, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna have the ability to train in separate training programs like Aim Lab, where you can focus on realistic drills that's gonna help you guys, you know, tracking and flicks and overall, you know, mouse control. You know, we definitely recommend giving Aim Lab a shot as it definitely has helped our pro coaches and other pro players improve their aiming abilities. All right, speaking of our coaches, make sure to head on over to ProGuys.com where we've got an army of pro players ready and waiting to teach you everything that you need to know about Fortnite. Hey, so you can improve fast. All right, so just like we mentioned the average pro's training routine, you know, you need to be practicing against players who are better or at least the same skill level as you. Okay, dominating against players who are worse than you, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun, I can't lie. It could be a great confidence booster, but it's not really going to help you guys improve. I mean, playing against players who are better than you, it's gonna force you to play at the top of your game. It's also gonna allow you to learn the new tricks and strategies that they're using. Not to mention that once you get used to fighting these advanced players, the average opponents you come across on the regular, it's gonna be a piece of cake to defeat. 
Although you may have what it takes to go pro, you've likely struggled to find teammates on your same skill level who share the same goals as you. You know, since the mode for all of 2022 is going to be duos, you're going to need a teammate who's willing to grind with you all year if you guys want to make some noise in the FNCS. I mean, it can be very challenging to find solid teammates for yourself if you don't have many accomplishments on your resume. You know, players are mainly going to search for people with notable placements along with a good amount of earnings and PR. And we all know how difficult it can be to really get these things when you're constantly switching up teammates and missing qualifications. So, you know, your best bet is honestly just to put your full attention to solos, get your placements under your belt. You know, we're not saying to skip out on FNCS, but just grinding out solo cash cups can be a great way to improve your resume and you could just really find the duel you deserve. But you got time, all right, it's time for the question of the day. Now that we've talked about team modes, what would you say is your favorite competitive game mode? Duos, trios, maybe solos? Hey, let us know in the comments down below. All right, so this next reason we have for you guys today is one that is heavily overlooked by a majority of players. And that is not having a solid plan when playing the early game. You know, in competitive events, you need to have a specific drop spot and looting rod in mind. You got to, right? Like many players will hop around from different POIs or just stick with one spot but land wherever. And having a very specific drop location and looting route is gonna help you guys avoid any 50-50s and just give yourself the best opportunity for having a successful game. Like you should be having a specific building or chest spawn that you're gonna be landing at every match along with a plan, you know, route that can just move you through quickly. And if you want to go even further, you can create a drop map for yourself that pinpoints the exact markers where deploying your glider will give you guys the lowest drop possible. Another thing that's commonly overlooked is a lack of competitive experience. You know, a lot of you guys that are trying to go pro have likely not been playing every event since the beginning of competitive. This is totally fine, but having this extra experience is gonna just place you further ahead into your journey of becoming a pro and knowing what to do in certain situations. Obviously, we can't go back in time to fix this, but you can avoid this from holding you know you back in the future. Start now, guys. Like start playing every event that you can and rack up all the experience possible. The more time that you spend in events, the more reference you're gonna have for how to handle future tournaments down the road. Similarly to our previous reason, a lot of you guys lack the knowledge of how to plan finals or even semifinals lobbies. You know, unlike the beginning of competitive Fortnite where everything was practically one open event, nearly all the events we play today will have two or three or even four rounds. And so these different stages of events are played very differently and it's gonna require some experience to know the best strats to use in them. So being in a set lobby of 100 players in a solo cash cup final round is drastically different from the opens round. You know, anything from storm surge, off spawn routes, and in-game rotations are going to function much differently. But like we mentioned before, guys, you know, playing every event that you can is gonna increase your chances of making it to these later stages and therefore speed up your journey of becoming a pro player. But you question, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it, man. Apply these tips. I'm telling you, you can change your life. And once again, this is Your Motivation Guy. Connect with me on my Instagram, which is Your Motivation Guy. Also, feel free to leave a comment and just let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. And just remember, man, becoming a pro player is not easy, but hopefully after today's video, you were able to really realize what may be holding you back. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.